Hi, in this video we're going to go over how to install the OpenShell Windows 10 Start Menu Replacement Program. And what that will do is it will give you more of a Windows 7 style Start Menu for people who prefer that, including myself. So typically when you click on the Start button, which is right here, it's not called Start anymore like in the old days, you will have your Windows 10 Start Menu with your apps on the side here, and your settings and pictures and documents and then your tiles here which will have things like games and weather and news and that kind of thing you know and you can move these things around and so on but a lot of people don't like this because this pretty much shows a lot of your apps and if you have programs such you know photoshop or office and that kind of thing it might not show them on this list and you'll have to do a search for it so what you could do is replace it with a program called open shell which actually used to be called classic shell and to do that, you just need to go to their website, which I'll put a link in the description, and then find the download section. Click on the nightly build here. And what you want to do is click on the executable file, not the 7C file. And then you could save it and install it later, or in my case, I'm just going to run it, which will download it and then start the installation right away. And then click on next typical windows installation type software here accept the license agreement we're going to keep all the defaults click on next click on install say yes to the user account control prompt here and then click on finish and then what you'll notice is the first time you click on your start menu you'll have this option as to which type of start menu you would like to use classic, you know, old school style, like from Windows 98. Uh, and then we're going to pick the Windows 7 style. And you could also replace the start button if you like. You want to have like this, their little icon there if you want, or if you want to have an actual button that says start or add your own image. But we're going to just use the default and keep this and click on OK. And then now when you go to start, you'll notice you have a Windows 7 style start menu with, you know, all your programs. And then you have control panel and settings and your printers and that kind of stuff and what you'll notice too is at the top here there's a start menu icon if you click on that it'll bring back the windows 10 style menu but it's only temporary so then if you click off and then go back you'll have your windows 7 style menu again and that's pretty much all there is to it just install it pick your start menu style and you're good to go all right thanks for watching